Hello guys, my name is Martin and welcome in another quick tip Photoshop tutorial. Today I would like to show you how to create uh, this kind of effect um, as you can see on your desktop. Actually I would like to show you how to get incredible details from our image. Uh, I think I never upload this kind of tutorial, maybe I, maybe the other day I uploaded um, dramatic effect, uh, really similar to that, but I think I never get this kind of uh, effect with this kind of details. I really like this and I hope you guys like this as well. I hope you're gonna enjoy this tutorial, take a look how it looked before. So I think it's really nice effect, really similar to dragon effect maybe. So uh, let's start from the beginning. I have to delete all the layers. So uh, there is our, so here is our image. Uh, I start with. Uh, I get that image from Pond Five website, uh, actually from my landing page um, on Pond Five. Check the description below with my landing page, and you can get this image as well as fifty others uh, media stocks. And let's start. At first, I I have to duplicate this layer, and. I'm gonna call this layer highlights and shadows. So on this layer, let's go to image adjustments and then shadow and highlights. Don't worry if you don't see all the options because just click here, show more options and then you can see all the options. So let's start with shadows. Um, for shadows, I think I put amount about 50%. It might be 60, it depends um, which kind of image you have. Um, I don't want to create that image too light. Maybe 55 would be okay. And then tonal width. I'd like to put down to 30% and then, let, uh, then let's start with highlights. I put highlights about 10% and I left tonal with the same. And at the end, let's uh, see what's about adjustments. I put color collection about zero. It's uh, it desaturates this image just a bit and about mid-tone contrast I put 25. I think 25 it's okay. Okay, so let's see how it looks right now. So as you see, even now we get this incredible details, but of course it's just a beginning. So right now uh, select levels. And in levels actually it depends whatever you want to get because if you would like to drag it um, on the right side, the middle uh, point, as you see, our image getting darker. But I want really light image, so I drag it on the left side just a bit uh, to make this a bit brighter. After levels, click Shift, Alt, Command, and E. Oh. If you are working on iMac and I think it's Shift, Alt, Control and E. If you're working on Windows, I call this layer High Pass, then go to Filter, Other and High Pass. Uh, I have Radius at 7.4, I think it's quite okay. So then change Blend Mode uh, to Soft Light. As you see right now, we have really great details, but maybe even too strong. So I'd like to change opacity to 70%. Um, actually, you can uh, stay with 100% or you can set uh, something different. It, as I said, it depends which kind, which kind of image you have. So. After high pass, it's proper time to create new layer. 
then edit, fill, and fill it with color uh, gray. Then change the blend mode to overlay to make that uh, layer invisible. So it's proper time to use Dutch and Burn tool. At uh, first, I will start with Burn tool exposure at 30%. So as you see, quite strong exposure. At first, paint it with color. Paint it in the dark. Some parts. It really gives us huge contrast. Great, um, really great effect. And then change into Dutch tool and paint it with the lights. First, eyes, and then change range to mid tones. And paint all the light parts, actually bright parts, in the image. It might be really strong because that's what we want to get. Alright, take a look. So it looks really, really nice. Maybe our eyes are too strong, but uh, not really. I think it's really interesting effect. So we almost, um, we almost uh, get there. But now it's uh, time for color balance because actually, with this kind of effect, um, cyan color and yellow color works perfect. So at first, at some uh, cyan's in tone, mid tones, and of course color yellow. Might be about mi minus ten. Then maybe highlights the same. A bit of cyan and a bit of yellow color. It works really great. So at the end, go to hue saturation and take down some saturation, maybe about minus uh, 20 or maybe even more. It depends um, how colorful your image is. My image isn't really colorful, so minus 20 is completely, totally okay. So that's all right. Uh, that's all actually. Let's see. Uh, at the end, we could create a final result. Press the Shift Alt Command and E, and Shift Alt Control and T if you're working on Windows, as I said. Then go to Filter, Lens Correction, and we could add some vignette. Uh, it's really great. Take a look. Vignette works uh, great with this kind of effect. I really love this effect. So I show you how it was before our editing. It was nice image, but I think right now our effect, our image is uh, much more impressive. So I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Leave the comment in the comment area below if you have any question or any opinion and see you in the next Photoshop tutorial. Thank you.